That's nice. That's nice. You know, earlier, earlier, Marty Stewart leaned over to me and told me he had never met any of the Glazers, but they had always been his idols. I love the Glazer brothers. Each and every one of them. <laughs> you, uh... I'm going to ask you to do the same thing for, about Johnny Cash. Tell me a Marty Robbins story, right off the top of your head. Off the top of my a head? A Marty, Marty Robbins memory. Well, one of the, the most memorable things is when Marty conceived the idea of doing the album of Western songs and started writing El Paso, which was an epic story in itself, and took him many months to write. And uh, we would learn each new verse as he'd write it. And it was several months before we knew what was going to happen in the end of the story. Bobby Sykes and myself sang on the record with Marty, and that's one of the first stories. But there's so many stories about Marty. He's a very charismatic man, very strong personality, and very, very talented. All right. Marty, you were with Johnny Cash for how long? And so on the way through the, uh, the hollow dome or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, we, in the remaining time, let's talk about where people are appearing. How about you, Brother uh, Jim? Decatur, Alabama, then Asheville, North Carolina. Decatur, Alabama, March 15th. Right. Asheville, North Carolina, March 27th. That's right, and at my house in between time. Well, Salt Lake City, Utah, April 19th. Flagstaff, 17th and 18th. There's some dates filled in right before there, too. I just read what was on the, on right. the screen there. They're, they're booking all the time. They're rolling in by the moment. All right. <laughs>